He was just a stand-up, stellar young man. To have this worthless individual murder his son is unexplicable. It's what officials in Florida are calling evil and irrational, after a father allegedly killed his teenage son with an angle grinder. And when we took him into custody, he told our deputy, you probably need to read me my rights. And that's exactly what we did. What's more, just days prior, an eerily similar crime in the same city. I've been in this business my entire adult life, and periodically I have seen parents kill children. I can't remember it happening twice in eight days in my entire career. On September 4th, officials in Polk County, Florida were called to a home in the city of Lake Wales. That's where they say 16-year-old Stephen Lee Rada was found murdered, apparently killed by a power tool. Stephen went to Frostproof High School. His parents said he was in 11th grade. He was to start work next week at Burger King to earn money so that he could buy a car. He was also studying to be an electrician. That was his dream in life. Steven Rada, who's 16 years of age, was a great kid. Not just a good kid, but a great kid. At the time, Rada was living with his grandfather, Thomas Rada, while his grandmother was in rehab. But about a month ago, his father, 37-year-old Steven Thomas Rada, moved back to the area. And we ask, where's he been? He's been in D.C., he's been in South Carolina, he's been in Ohio, he's been in Texas. There was even an outstanding warrant for Stephen Thomas Rada in South Carolina, but South Carolina would not extradite. So he was unable to be arrested. And when there was no place else to go, he came to his father's house. And then the thank you he showed his father was to murder the son, who is the grandfather of our murder victim, who is a wonderful, wonderful person. He apparently has criminal histories all over the United States. This guy has been nothing but a problem to society for a very long time, a very long time. And now he's turned a problem person into an evil person when he murdered his son and created a horrible set of circumstances for a loving family. At the time of the murder, officials say the grandfather, Thomas Rada, was visiting his wife in rehab. He came home to find his son outside. Well, on this particular morning, Thomas Rada, the grandfather, left about 8 o'clock to go visit with his wife in rehab. When he returned home about 11 o'clock today, he was met outside by our suspect, his son, Stephen Rada, and his quote was, I wouldn't go in there if I was you. I killed someone. You may need to call the police. Thomas Rada told us it was not uncommon for his son, Stephen Rada, to talk bizarre. We are told that Stephen Rada used methamphetamine since high school, and he has psychotic episodes. Sheriff Grady Judd noted Stephen Thomas Rada had a lengthy criminal record and history with methamphetamine use. It wasn't until Thomas Rada went inside that he realized his son was telling the truth. When Thomas Rada went into the house, into the mobile home, there he saw his son, his grandson, deceased in the dining room, kitchen area. And we know that it appears at the early stage of the investigation. And as we always tell you, the information we give you this soon after an investigation is the best information we have. It's certainly subject to change. But at this time, it appears that our suspect, Stephen Thomas Rada, used an angle grinder to kill his son. 
After that, officials say the 37-year-old suspect left the scene before first responders arrived. We, by the way, arrested him because he fled from the scene after talking to his father, Thomas Rada. He fled from the scene and we caught him about a mile west of here on Highway 60. He was leaving the area. As I said before, he's been from Texas, South Carolina, Ohio, Washington, D.C. He moves around a lot. And after killing his son, he was leaving again. When sheriff's deputies caught up with Rada, he made a striking comment about his Miranda rights. And when we took him into custody, he told our deputy, you probably need to read me my rights. And that's exactly what we did. Though Rada is in custody, a motive in his son's murder is still unclear. The, the family has reported that he's psychotic. He's got a history all the way back to high school of using methamphetamine. I don't know that about any Baker acts or mental health evaluations, but he's just an evil person. And you go, well, he might have had a mental health issue. Well, of course he did. People don't murder people unless they're not so. So anybody who murders somebody has a hitch in their giddy up. That doesn't mean they're criminally insane. It just means they're evil and they're mean. And when things don't go their way, they kill people. But only eight days before all this, on August 27th, First responders with the Polk County Sheriff's Office responded to an alarmingly similar crime scene. I can't imagine a more horrific set of circumstances. What started out as a custody dispute turned into a double murder-suicide when officials say Brandy Hutchins, also of Lake Wales, Florida, shot and killed her two children. This is, we deal, deal with hundreds and thousands and thousands of court orders. And for one to turn out like this is just almost never, but never occurred today. At a press conference after the shootings, Sheriff Judd outlined the order of events that led up to the murders. This started as a domestic event whereby an ex-husband and an ex-wife were dealing with child custody. And to get to the bottom line, this last Thursday, the ex-husband had come down from Maine to appear in court with his ex-wife because she had not appropriately turned over custody of their 10-year-old beautiful little boy. A judge later ordered Hutchins to turn over her 10-year-old son, Aiden Hutchins, to his father on Friday, August 25th. When she didn't show up, Polk County Sheriff's deputies spent the next few days searching for the boy. Our detectives worked through the weekend to try to find this 10-year-old little boy so we could turn him over, according to the court order, to his father so his father could take him back to the state of Maine. We pinged phones. We looked for the child. The friends also did some social media. On the social media, they said, hey, if you've seen the child, let us know. But in the early afternoon hours of August 27th, sheriff's deputies responded to a mobile home in Lake Wales. There, they found a horrific scene. Here's what we know. Brandy Hutchins, the mother of the 10-year-old, the mother of the 19-year-old, from every indication in our investigation now, has murdered her 10-year-old child and her 19-year-old child. Murdered them. And then subsequent to that, she shot herself. I can't imagine a more horrific set of circumstances. While Stephen Thomas Rada had a lengthy criminal background and history with drug use, Officials say Brandy Hutchins displayed no warning signs. Now what's interesting about this, she has no criminal history. She has no history of Baker Acts. There was no indication that there should be any violence, but it was violent. In relation to both cases, Sheriff Judd said the actions of both parents is nearly unbelievable. 
we're devastated and we're heartbroken for them and we don't understand why anyone can ever murder their child. Ever. Ever. But they did it today. Stephen Thomas Rada is now charged with first-degree murder in his son's death. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd has said publicly he and his team will work to keep Rada behind bars for the rest of his life. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.